Hello everyone. Today we're going to build a macOS inspired portfolio using Google's anti-gravity ID that just came out. So ever since this ID came, I've been hearing lots of talks about it. I haven't really gotten the chance to really explore it. So I'll be using this as an opportunity to test it out. Basically stressing it out and then seeing all of the nitty gritties that have to do with the ID. I've heard it has really good UIs. So We'll be seeing that in a moment. So the reason I'm, I'm building this um, MacOS inspired portfolio is practically because of this creator here, JavaScript Mastery. So if you are seeing this, you probably might want to give them a like or a follow since they are doing a lot of good job. And while you are at it, give us a like as well and subscribe. So at the end of this video, you're going to build your own portfolio. You will have the source code for a MacOS inspired portfolio which is going to look like it should come pre-installed on an Apple device. So let's just jump into it before Google puts anti-gravity behind a subscription fee. So first of all, I'm going to open up my anti-gravity real quick and then quickly generate a PRD. What, what I like to do is I'm generating this PRD because this is sort of a big project and I wouldn't want the AI to get stuck along the way, whatever the cost is. So Although anti-gravity already comes with two modes installed with two modes, which is practically the fast mode and then the planning mode. So basically, this is what I'm talking about. So the planning mode just thinks through everything you had said, what your entire prompt is about. And then before it executes anything, it asks for your approval. And then once you proceed with it, it goes on to build the application for you. And then there's the fast mode, which just jumps into coding. Anyway, so I'm going to generate my PRD in ChatGPT real quick. And once I have it ready, I'll show it to you. And then I'll bring it into here to serve as extra context for the anti-gravity, which is Gemini 3 Pro, right? So we'll be using Gemini 3 Pro here. I don't know how well it will go but along the way. If we seem to have issues with it, I'll be switching back and forth between what's on it 4.5, the thinking mode, and then Gemini 3 Pro high. So let me just get the PRD ready. Okay, so I just generated the PRD. So I'm going to copy, review it, and copy it. Quite literally, I've looked into it. So and I think I like it up to 8. Yeah. So yeah, I'm going to copy it from this point up. Right. And then head over to create a folder right so i just opened our new folder and anti-gravity let me just create the prd And then paste it here. Okay, yeah, so I sort of specified a couple of things myself. So we're using DJS for primarily the date and time config that we see on an, on the uh, Mac OS. I think on the title bar, there are a couple of things. Yes, I specified uh, G sub animations. Let me just copy this point. I need this tool for the AI. So let me just open anti gravity over here. And although we already have a PRD, let me add this to to it. And then right. Let me as well tag the PRD so it reads it. Then let me let it plan. Right, so let's wait and see what, what it's able to give us. So let me read through with you what I am asking it to do. So primarily, I want a portfolio that is macOS inspired, right? So I gave it that it should make sure everything about the portfolio is summarized into how the OS looks like. And then I want us to use React, Zastand, and then G-Stop animations. 
um, as well to have all of the icons and images that Apple uses. We are trying to make this to be as realistic as possible. So I can see that it's just logged into our PRD. It's eventually going to understand everything I summarized here, then build it along with what I am expecting it to do. So I, I sort of have a fair idea of how I want it to look and how it's going to turn up and then how some of the code execution is going to be like. So once it, it runs into an error, so this is what I was talking about, right? See how generated an implementation plan with everything that I had mentioned considered, right? So I don't think I have enough time to read through this. I'm going to just proceed on with it. If I see an error later on, I'll ask it to fix it. So let's just move on. So it's asking for my input here. I'm just going to remove existing files and then continue. I don't know what to say. I think I made a mistake. I one shot in the application, but then it keeps going on with, with no mistake whatsoever. Because currently, everything I possibly could have imagined, it's doing it, even though I failed to include it inside the PRD or inside my prompt. It's installing everything with no faults, no critical issue no not even a single error and it's running the terminal commands exactly as i was expecting i'm, I'm completely blown away honestly it deleted even some of the directories it cleaned up the whole thing after it installed the after it ran npm install and then got the project boot up lots of things i'm impressed like wow Congratulations, Google. You actually made something useful. I really did not believe that they could be number one, like the top spot, as people are saying. I'm seeing a couple of lens errors here, here and there. I may have to come in and then chip in a bit, but it's getting everything as I was expecting. It created a source, a store folder, the components with a dock, with the layout, like everything that I'm expecting it to do. That's really impressive. Wow. And it started by even cleaning up the CSS and all of the unused files, installed Tailwind, like everything I possibly could have imagined. I'm not blowing this out of proportion. I really hate Gemini 3, honestly. I mean, the previous version is Gemini 2.5. I would always choose Claude over it's any day, any time, but right now I'm starting to rethink that decision. Well, if you guys have experienced any mess up or maybe a flaw anywhere, I'd, I'd, I'd really like to know about it. So leave a comment and I'll check, I'll look into it as well. But other than that, I think Gemini 3 Pro is really good. It's really good, I must say. Like, So once it's done installing, I'll, I'll update you guys again. Okay, so it looks like it finished and uh, I'm really surprised that I was able to one shot this entire thing. I don't know if it's completely done, but I can't see any errors here. I think the code is good. Uh, everything seems to be intact at the moment. It generated all of the pages like I was expecting, the contacts, the finder, the photos, every single page. And it ran every command. I was just blown away. I was sitting there with my hands in my mouth. Absolutely blown away. I, I can I cannot lie. I'm not gonna lie. This is amazing. Let me see how it turned out to be. Well, moment of truth. Let's see if all of this praises that I'm giving you is actually worth it. Huh. Okay, okay. So 
I'm hoping it worked. I'm hoping it went well. Oh shit. I got my hopes up. But it's actually not so bad. Yeah, it's 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 looking pretty well. Time and yeah, this one was right. Wasn't expecting these things to be actually functional, so yeah, that's not a big problem. It seemed to have gotten this one right. Yeah, I got the two tips right as well. With a little animation there, looks good. It failed to get my animation with the G sub. Wanted animation here, it didn't get it right. Well, it's it's not so bad, and it got the the images here completely wrong. It it gave its own icons. I didn't use the Mac inspired icons that I specified that I use to see if these things actually work. Okay, okay. <laughs> Not so bad. Oh, it's movable. Ah, that's amazing. Let's see. Oh, yeah. Okay, okay. Let's see. Let's move on to the next thing. Let's see if we can have two things open at once. Okay, so you can have two open at once. So, Safari. Okay, showing the portfolio like I had asked. And mind you, this all of the information I gave was very vague, so there was nothing to use. Okay, it's not downloadable. That's fine. Let's see what else. Photos. Okay, generated a couple of photos. What about the full screen? Okay, this one too works. Wow, it's, it did a lot. It got a lot right. Oh, Gemini 3 Pro is actually good. I'm not gonna lie. Let's see how the terminal works. Wow. Okay, so it has a couple of commands here. Let's type skills. Oh, right. <laughs> wow. This is amazing, man. <laughs> this is wonderful. This is wonderful. At this point, I don't know whether to continue on and try to fine tune this part. Just leave it at that because this is absolutely one shot. I just give one single prompt. Let me just show you one single prompt. I haven't gone back. I haven't touched anything ever since. So it just ran all of the terminal commands, installed even the things that I failed to mention. It's using use ref. It's using everything that I could have imagined it to use. It's created the stores like it considered every quality industry standard. I was hoping it would get right. And completely one shot the whole project. This is just one shot. I just sent one prompt. Wow. I was thinking Gemini 3 Pro would mess up and I would have to switch to Sonnet 4.5. But this is amazing. Like, I want to know what you guys think. If you want me to leave it at this, fine. If you want me to continue on and then fine tune it, I will share completely the source code with you guys. So let me know what you think and then see you in the next video. Like, subscribe. You can find the complete source code on my Git repository. Okay, one more thing before I wrap up, let me show you my Git repo so you guys can access it. So, this is basically my repository and my GitHub account. So, you just come on here and then you'd have it right on my right on the repository here. You're supposed to see it here. So, I'm going to deploy it right now and then you guys can access it. Let me know what you guys think. I'm ready. This is completely free. Uh, there's no actual subscription for anti gravity at the moment. So I want you guys to give me as many projects as possible. I want to build a lot of them before it goes pro, before it's, they add a subscription to it. So <laughs> that's about it. Yeah. Give us a like, subscribe, and then follow for more. <laughs> I already said that. I'm so excited. Come on.